Hi, I'm Mike at OCD Lawn Care. Welcome to another lawn renovation. It's 20th of July. Spade this off, doing this front lawn and the back lawn. This is going to be a premier seed, nice fine fescue lawn. And out the back, we're going to have shady and economy mix. Who says you can't do a lawn this late? I'll show you, you can. Let's go. Okay, that's that scarified. That's the first pole. We'll be doing two poles, 90 degrees. But look at that, just for half a lawn. We just need to keep going until we get to the soil canopy. Let's get this rake up. Okay, so we're gonna use the Alex spring rake now. We've gone 90 degrees, hold it multiple times. But as you can see on the canopy here, we've still got the moss hanging in and that's just gonna pull it all up and we'll rake it up. When you've left the moss so long, it's actually in the soil. So you need to really rip it hard and a spring rake, Alec Kensington 20B, fantastic for the job. So let's get that going. Okay, so that's the Alex spring rake. A Little bit of remnants of moss left, but as you can see, that's a lot cleaner on the canopy. It doesn't matter about a little bit of moss, you could go forever and ever and ever. You need to get grass seed. Grass is a natural way of getting rid of moss, weed grasses and weeds. That's the front done. We're gonna do the same out the back, so let's get on with that. Okay, so let's take you a quick walk around the back lawn. Obviously a full spray off. We've got this tree here, which is gonna be tricky. So it's shady and economy. Got a big dip over there, which we need to level out, fill in. Lots of moss along the edges. Yeah, we need to do the same process that we've just done out the front, but this is the world's bumpiest lawn. And I'll show you just how bumpy it is. I mean, this, I, I, I've never known so many bumps in a lawn. We're not gonna film too much of this, but we will come back when we've done it and we'll see if we've got some sort of level. Enjoy. So I've scarified this 90 degrees, so two passes, but I've probably done about eight passes because I had to go up and down the lines, up and down the lines, because it was like cobblestones out here. You break your ankle literally walking on this. This is why you've got to scarify every year because it will help lawn bump. We're gonna seed and fleece the front and top dress it obviously, and then we'll come back here tomorrow and finish this one up. We had to rush that because the rain was coming in. So um, yeah, we're all fleeced over, seeded, under and over. Um, yeah, it looks pretty good. So uh, we're back here tomorrow to do the same to the back and uh, she should be brand new, right? Okay, welcome to day two on Greg's lawn. We're gonna go all around the edges like we did on the front. Then we're gonna get our seed on, dressing on, seed over the top, and then our fleece. 2.4 tons go over the top, but we have a problem over here. All the dips I need to take out, the scarifier won't get in there, you'll see. So all the dead grass, I can't get it out. So I'm gonna use the steel rotary scissors, cut all that out, and then we can crack on. Let's go. <laughs> So the scarifier and the Alec power rake didn't pull this little bit of moss out. This is where the rotary scissors come in handy because I can just top it off and get that remaining moss cut out. Defiant moss will not come out, so it's going to come out now. Ready?
Okay, that's the dip taken care of. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just needs to be mowable, yeah? Undulation is okay. Big dips that the mower can't get into are not okay. Same as a golfing green. If it's perfectly flat, it wouldn't be a good game of golf, would it? It would be snooker. So let's crack on. Okay, so that's us. We've put Shady Mix underneath on our first pass. Then we top dressed and we put Economy Mix on the top. So all that's left to do now is uh, get our fleece on. We do a time lapse of that. After that, we'll have a conclusion. See you then. Okay, absolutely exhausted. Putting a fleece down, what's the analogy of trying to put a fleece down? It's like um, when you go camping and you see those people putting awnings up or tents, it's always gonna cause an argument. You see it all the time between wives and kids. It's fantastic. But there's pigeons up there cooting away. Um, so they lose, we win. Beautiful lawn, two weeks. Um, so it's not just me. Um, I had help from my fiance, Emily. So uh, she just say a little hello. She's my chief fleecer and she breaks the piles of soil. So thank you very much, darling. Team fist pump. 14 days we'll be mowing, maybe just after, because this is shady out the back. And we'll see you for that one. Make sure you like and subscribe. We really need the subscribers because we're at 810, we want that big 1,000. So we'll see you soon, take care.